welcome to my slice of heaven. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can tell with your decor pieces, everything that you have in this space is invested. How big is your house? Five bedrooms. Okay. But um, change one into study, change one into a TV room. What an outstanding chandelier right there. A red one for that. Yeah. So romantic. This space, there's something about it. This Is this space for you and your loved one? A space for me and someone else is watching football. Uh, oh, I saw that. <laughs> Did you guys see that? He avoided the question. <laughs> this is not for your partner. It looks very romantic. The red carpet, the chandelier. I mean, I mean, it looks so cozy and very inviting. Yeah. No? It is, it is actually. And um, interesting enough, these, well, they're pretty heavy wood. Yeah. And they're actually more comfortable than they look. Right? Which, which is surprising. Um, okay, can I try? Yeah, give, give it a shot. Oh. Oh, very comfortable, by the way, from yeah. the back. Oh, very nice. So, yeah. locally sourced? Locally sourced. The reason why I said it's very romantic, this space yeah. is very romantic, it's yeah. also because of this wallpaper on this other side. Yeah, floral it's, again. Yes, floral yeah. and the red. Yeah. Keeping with the theme, floral, yeah. red, red, red yeah. picks. Even your, you know, on, what's on your screen? On the screen, your yeah, it's, it's, it turned red, yeah. It just turned red. So romantic, so cool. So do you buy some of the pieces to sell or no for no, you? No, no, I'm very, okay. um, how do I say? I'm very protective over the pieces and I, and I, I, get, I, get, I get the sense I'm, I'm a hoarder. Okay, okay. To a large degree. Okay. Um, I had to, re when I was moving to this particular property, I had to reluctantly let go of some stuff to my sister because it just couldn't fit. This year, what are your resolution for this new year? Well, my, mine are pretty basic um, in the sense that, uh, well, I'd like to make money and, uh, uh, if that's a resolution. Okay. Um, I'd like to, I think, um, be more focused about my health. All right. Whether it's what I eat um, um, and what I um, consume. Okay. And in terms of, uh, I don't know if I mentioned exercise, and I'm a married guy. Um, so to okay, speak. the senior bachelor. Here, but, yeah, but, um. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. So we'll hold him accountable. End of this year. Okay. Are you dating right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I am. Yeah, okay. Say, um, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That is good to know. Yeah. So now that your home is fully furnished, you, will you allow them to come and change your space? I'd, I'd be pleasantly surprised if they could. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh I, my I, I, God. I'd welcome any new ideas. I always do. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, the, the only way you can grow, evolve is, is if people give you ideas, you see new things. And, uh -huh. the, and that's part of the essence of why I travel. Every time I, I, I don't exactly go out to buy stuff. I go to yeah. see, I go to experience, I go okay. to eat. Okay. Um, and um, just try to get involved in the local, um, you know, culture, whatever it is, and whatever yeah. people eat. Yeah. Um, I've found that to work for me, except in China. So. Okay. Yeah, the Chinese food is different. Yeah. But what have you borrowed from the culture of travel? Because you're a, a, a globe trotter enthusiast and brought into the space. It's ideas. Okay. It's ideas on uh, different things. In the house. When, yeah, when you see when you see the way you walk into some hotels, you see the lighting. Yeah. Um, how they do it. The, um, you um, you stay in a certain um, uh, some certain hotels where they have um, uh, really good, mm -hmm. you know, like sheets. Because mm -hmm. then you, you try you start to appreciate what thread count actually means. Mm -hmm. So you learn. Then you ask questions in a way. Yes. What's why the difference? Would, yeah. Why, what's yeah. the difference? Yeah. 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 And stuff like that. Okay. So it's, it's, all, it's all a learning process. Yeah. Um, in terms of what, I, I don't actually carry stuff back. Okay. Very rarely. You come and look around and see what you can I infuse see, into your space. Yeah, yeah. What three tips can you give our viewers? on how to create such an amazing space? One, I think, is take your time. Okay. 
because it evolves. Um, okay. You uh, you'll see this thing. Sometimes it works with something else. Sometimes it doesn't. Over yeah. time, you probably get rid of it. Put some. You find something else that fits. Yes. As a hoarder, you find it difficult to get rid of the last one, which you liked also, but which didn't fit. Yes. Um, you can use it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, that's one. Um, the second is at least try and get some synergy mm -hmm. um, in the room. I mean, if you started off with um, um, a modern theme, mm -hmm. you have to stick. To a modern to theme. To a modern theme, so it has to be synergistic. Okay. But a modern theme, you can't do a modern theme, you know, with... Modern themes actually um, revolve around large spaces. Yes, yes. Because you can't get minimalistic with a small space. It just looks yeah. a bit weird because okay. the room is small and there's nothing yes. in it. It looks yes. like a prison cell. Yes, but yes. If there's lots of lights, lots of views and etc. and high ceilings, yeah. minimalism works mm. really well in instances like like those, that's, that's my view anyway. Okay. Um, and the third is um, just create a space that you're comfortable with as, as, as a person that, that works for you. That you love, you love. Yeah. very personalized. Yeah. Yeah. Have you invested anything that you feel later on you can, are you doing anything as far as invest? I know you said, you talked about making money this year as oh. one of your resolutions. Oh yeah, it has been. Yeah. 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 yeah, are you investing, did you buy this house? No, I do have other houses, but I've moved here because um, I've been here for five years, actually. Okay, okay. Um, uh, because it was near where I worked. All right. I used to live on the other side, and getting getting to work at the time, I'm not there anymore, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. Is, um, I used to be late for work every day. But I moved here, and I haven't actually moved out. Okay, you're loving it here. Uh, I, I like it, but one of my bucket list uh, things is to get a property with a um, uh, either a lake view or okay. a um, forest view. Would you live in the country or you are, you love city lights? Hey, city, okay. but city, but semi city, not city city Kabisa, But yeah. I, I need access to garden. I need access to a garden, but preferably somewhere in the city. <laughs> I, I read somewhere that you're a secular saint. Are yeah. you? <laughs> it's a difficult question to answer. Fortunately, not, not many people know what the word secular means, so <laughs> my viewers, I can get away please, <laughs> my viewers need to know what a secular saint means. <laughs> but I'm going to ask a direct question. Yeah, Are you yeah. a bad boy? Somewhere deep down? Yeah? I, I think so. I, I, um, but but I, I've met worse, you know. So, okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're admitting you're a bad boy. I, there I, I you can go, be, guys. Can be, can be, yeah. <laughs> but I think once you get married, it will change. So there's oh, hope. Definitely. There's uh, no, no, no. There's, there's hope <laughs> even next year. Oh, this, this year, year, sorry. This year, yeah, this, this year, year, there's hope. Yeah, there's there's yeah. hope. You know, um, when you cross the new year, you always lose track of, um, yeah. what do you call it? Which year, you know, you sign checks with the old year and stuff like yes, that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You have yeah. your vision board ready? No. I know, my, my vision board, you know, revolves around those three pillars, you know, make okay. money. <laughs> Get married. <laughs> Get married and look after my health. Oh, and look after your health. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Just one last question. And in terms of investment, is there any, one tip in, as far as investment is concerned? You think you made the right decision as you were growing as a young boy and you said, mm. this is the kind of life I'd want to live. That you can advise young men today to invest in so that they too can live the life of their dreams. To answer your question, in terms of um, uh, investments and stuff like that, it's actually a learning process. Okay. You make mistakes um, and you make a lot of mistakes and you know, it's, it's, it's up to you to, then after a while you, you, you start to try and minimize, you know, the level of, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. And when you learn to, from your mistakes, you then tend to, to grow. Okay. Um, so, uh, in, in, in that sense, uh, for the young entrepreneur, I think you know the thing is you, you have to you have to put your foot out there, okay. and and give it a shot. It's 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 um, most of employment opportunities these days are um, SMEs. Mm. So you know the formal job markets in corporates is actually really small. Mm. Um, so people have really have to learn to to step out and a bit. What they gotta do. And yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's mm. it's it's something that they enjoy. Yeah. Because you know, I went for a short, you know, stint at the London Business School for for a little while, okay. and the most, the one thing that stuck in my mind yeah. 
was one of the lecturers actually said, you know, if you do what you enjoy, yes. you don't have, you don't, you're not going to work a day, in, you're not going to work a day in your life. In your life, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Do you think you're working a day in your life today? Yeah, today, I'm, these days I'm fine. I'm like, you know, the thing is I, I work according to my own schedule, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But it also has its downsides, by the way, in, okay. in the sense that you, you need a reason to get up in the morning, otherwise okay. you... Motivation. Motivation. You've yeah. gone into business, you left, you left the corporate world yeah. where you are the prowess, um, assisted to Marvin. How does it feel being in business? What have you learned? One lesson you've learned for those people who are transitioning into being an entrepreneur because you are one now. Yeah, um, I'd say the key thing is actually um, interact with people you trust. I mean, and trust is a very difficult thing to put your finger on. Okay. Because you know, the thing is, um, it's, 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 it's an economy where obviously everyone has to live, everyone has to survive, and um, everyone to some degree does everybody else in, in terms of getting um, a shilling on the table. So in, on a day-to-day -day basis, just deal and interact and keep the circle of people that you trust that you can work with. Okay. Yeah, that's that would be my um, my, my my key learning okay. of, of the last few years. Yeah. Can I ask what business you're in now? I'm into commodity trading, which um, uh, to some degree is things like uh, maize, sugar, and uh, and rice and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which um, and I work with partners, so it's. It, can be stressful sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I like the sound of that. Um, one more last question. Are we gonna see your other speaks? Yeah. Well, before we do that, you still have your Christmas tree. Why is that? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 one, I like the way it looks. The whole gold thing, and it you know it brings nice ambiance in the evenings. Okay. And the second is, well, my parents used to keep it up until the tenth, so you know. Of January. Of January yeah. So why not? Why not? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Cool, so I'm curious to see how your other space looks like. Um, I'll take you across. Oh, lovely. So where are we off to next? The office where yes. nothing happens. But, uh -huh. uh, this is the James Bond um, themed wall. I like it, the black and white. The black and white, yeah. And the mirror, that? that looks so cool. This is Philippe Stark. Oh, Philippe Stark, what does that mean? He's, he's a very famous designer, so he's okay. got, yeah. Okay. So we've done that and mm -hmm. that's two. All right, let's yeah. see in here. You are a lifestyle connoisseur. I mean, this is an office, not conventional. Talk to me, describe to me why it exudes sophistication, timelessness, and just classy. Very English style from the seats, everything, the carpet, everything. Talk to me about that. Um, I'm not sure about the class bit, but <laughs> it's, it is uh, quintessentially um, English. Yes. Uh, in terms of, uh, it's, it's all, these, this is all, this is leather, that is leather, these inlays are, 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 are leather, they're made by um, it's the, the guys um, I used to work with before they closed down. That was Henry West. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, those two chairs came from a company called Wood Charm on Kijaba Street, and they're, they're also really good at what they mm -hmm. they were. They, mm -hmm. they, they closed down. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, all the better furniture makers are um, closing shop. They were very traditional. They yeah. focused on, on on their work before. Mm -hmm. They focused on the wood and the finishings. Yeah. Um, this. And it kind of went with this particular wallpaper. Because the texture, guys, it feels yeah. so nice. Yeah. Um, you, it almost feels very real. Man, yeah. you are extra. Can yeah, I say yeah. you are extra? I, 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 I beg to differ. <laughs> you yeah. cannot beg to differ. This, this look, I mean, it's very yeah. inviting. Very, yeah. very inviting. Yeah, so... And oh, that, I'd like to point that out, though. Yes! I did get an award. Fantastic! One of the only CSR? recently, so. CSR. Okay, <laughs> yeah. CSR really the ship. Yeah. Oh, goody. Got that in um, it was Mauritius. Okay. Long time ago. That is so awesome. Yeah. Right behind you, there's a beautiful art piece. Yeah. I, I like I it. I bought it because it would match the wallpaper. I like it. Plus yeah. the lamp shade, so yeah. cute. <laughs> they blend beautifully in the space. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to see the other space. Oh.
this room is sensational. Oh my God, Michael. Yeah. Tell me, is this your master bedroom? It is a master bedroom. And? Um, no magic happens here. Oh yeah, right. Everything about this room Thank you. is so relaxing and very different mm -hmm. from your living area. It where is. it's maximalism, but here it's very more like minimalism in the space, I would say. You could, you could say that. It has surprised me, to be honest. Yeah. Tell me about what you were looking for in this space, because ah, it is also very cozy. I was looking for, um, you know, I, I think I have some insomnia issues, lots of it. Okay. And, um, you know, colors tend to, uh, tend to bring a lot of energy um, into the room. All right. So in the living room, it's just, you know, it's a riot of colors, on, you know, on, on the eyes. Yeah. Over here, I just wanted a softer palette. Okay. Um, so work with whites um, and creams and um, highlights of black. Yeah. Um, just to accentuate. And the other thing is actually, you know, in this climate, you know, it's easier to spot mosquitoes on a white wall. <laughs> you had guys, <laughs> why some people have white walls, spot the mosquitoes. <laughs> That's a good tip. You got that. I hope you got that back home. So don't have colored walls in your bedroom so that you, you, you yeah, chase them you with your hand. Them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, that is hilarious. I love it. Okay, yeah. um, tell me something because you seem to love color art, but this room you chose to go very different direction, very opposite of whom you are as a person. Would you how would you describe your personality? Um, would you say this is your personality or the living room? A bit of Fun. both. A bit mm -hmm. of both. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have, you know, the um, introvert part, and most people have the extrovert part. Mm -hmm. So you can be extrovert for a while, and then you take time to chill. Yes. So if you could look at this, at the, the the living room, I'd call it the extrovert yes. room. Yes. Yeah. And here is where now you you know you're you're introverting. You're um, how do I say? You're resting and you're decompressing. You're decompressing. Um, but it still retains some of the floral themes, as you can see on this, that, that's mainly floral. Yes. The um, cushions are a different type of floral. Yes. And this is also, it's floral to some degree. Yeah, um, and it feels very yeah. cozy and yeah. very luxurious yeah. as well. It's some designer, I forget. Yeah, okay. It oh, it's a designer? Yeah, it's a designer. I love it, together with the cushion with as the well. With the cushion, yeah. I am so yeah. cool. Yeah. You've yeah, created a hotel no, no, in your no home. No travel, no learning. Uh, yeah, but you've yeah. invested so well. The bed is amazing. Was also this locally made or you imported this? The, no, the bed was locally made. I've just walked and just peeped and saw your walking wardrobe clearly again um your fashion sense um it was written all over your walking closet and the jacuzzi mm. Mm -hmm. you yeah, love I, to relax and take it easy personally no um i, I it, it, it is there yes but um i'm more a shower guy I just walk in and walk out so do you use it once in a while no, jacuzzi? no never, never used it okay so it's there for accessory just like the motorbikes. Who yeah. are your friends? Uh, huh. <laughs> we, need, we need to know who your friends are because truly they need to just persuade you to use some of this and maximize these luxurious things yeah. that look so amazing and feel so amazing to have in, a, in your space. But the good thing is you have the option, right? Yeah, I do, I do. And uh, I, I you think know? for me, it's about options. If you know, if you, yeah, if you, it's you there. Use, like, You're like, yeah. if I want it, my walk-in closet, my yeah. fashion sense. I love it. Yeah. I think mood. maybe if you point the light at it, it might not mood. be the same. Oh, wow. That feels so nice. Yeah. You know, there are people who don't like to sleep in darkness. Yeah, this also is, it helps, especially kids, actually. And they yeah. could, they've got these small night lamps. Yeah, this is so lovely. I love it. I don't like to sleep in darkness. So this would work perfectly for homes. Yeah. When you don't want to have lampshades and stuff, this yeah. is... I love the mood it creates and the whole experience. Isn't it just lovely, beautiful people at home? Don't you just love this? I love it. I hope, does it cost a bomb? Well, no, no, really, it, it doesn't. Eh? Um, 
if, if I tell you the price, you think I'm a cheapskate. But it, it's 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 basically this How much this spaceman. It? Uh -huh. He's the one, you know, it's plugged in and yeah. he's, he's the one um, that gives you the different constellations and you can change it, you can change the colors and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but how much would it cost? 6,000 shillings. Oh, what? Yeah. That's affordable? It is. Yeah, it's yeah. actually affordable. Yeah, yeah. What's the most expensive item in your home? I won't mention the price, but it's the Italian chair downstairs. <music> about this amazing room I love it yeah it's it's, it's, it's a bit of a quirky room in yes. the sense that um, you know the, the, the purpose of this room is for um, I got friends who sometimes come come over mm -hmm. and uh, the kids who uh, well usually between the ages of 9 and 20 or 18 or maybe yeah. probably 18 to yes. 20 years yes. so um, they usually like their own um, space okay and um, I got TV games, what was that thing, PlayStation and stuff like that. I love the wall. I love the fact that you, it's also not conventional. Was this wallpaper or this is paint? It is wallpaper. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're looking for unconventional, looking for something that makes a statement on the back of the wall. Yes. And something that would make the room actually just um, stand out. Yeah, pick up. Yeah. These are more, it's more the modern look, I'd, I'd say. Right? Yeah. Apart from that one, which. Um, if I, if, I, if I change the fabric like on that. This is modern? This is modern. Um, okay. And they seem to have they seem to have this Bentley, you know, Bentley have this um, yes, yes. whatever um, yes. diamonds on, on, on the seat. Like, it felt like a chest mark. Yeah, like yeah. Real. You're right. But did you buy this locally? Because I love the texture. It feels I, so amazing, guys. Oh my God. It looks so luxurious yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. I bought it locally, but okay. um, it was imported from Italy. Okay through a company called Spiegel. Okay. They're, they're in, uh, they were in Bussega for a moment. Yeah. The carpet, talk to me about the carpet. The carpet doesn't, I wouldn't say it fits in, but it's it's fit for use for the moment. Um, yeah. because but it's very nice. It looks like Mandela art. It, it is Afghanistan. I yeah. like what you've done with it. This couch, it is again not conventional. Yeah. The wall is different. The green and the red, very beautiful colors. They complement the space beautifully, and then you have black uh, curtain there with a beautiful lighting. Yeah, That's it's nice at night. The massage room. Yes. Uh, interesting. I, it was, you know, it was first the, the, the bed was in the office, mm -hmm. so I saw two balconies here that were not um, in, use. in use, and you know, it, it could create an outside-in space. Um, so to speak. So I went, um, I asked uh, the, I'd say the carpenter to put some glass over the balcony, you, you, uh, some glass or some kind of plastic over the balcony so that it doesn't rain into the balcony. So uh, using one for a massage area, it's, in, it's outdoor. Um, this, this is work in progress. Actually, um, it's been done over the last uh, two weeks or so. So just waiting just to look for a chair for the pedicures and manicures and stuff outside and just put up pictures and, and that, that should be pretty comfortable. Um, I would suggest though if anyone tries it out, it should be in the evenings. It's, it's, it's actually, it's, it's cooler. Okay. Yeah. And your upper bedroom, I see you've done also wallpaper that is floral but very inviting as well. It is inviting, but that was more the, it's, it looks like the dark room, you know, with black and um, a little, you know, sh um, shards of, you know, gold floral stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything you love to live outside, clearly. I, well, I, I sort of um, uh, this is mainly for hosting, yeah. It's, it's not necessarily um, uh, that I, I, I like to sit out here alone in the evenings when um, when visitors come around. Yeah. Um, it's a nice place to sit, it's it's, it's airy, yeah. Um, the lighting is reasonably good, um, and I, the, the table and um. I got this from uh, um, 
somewhere near in, in Loresho. It's, it's apparently an old uh, Somali ship or some ship that was um, it, 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 it um, submerged near the Somali um, coastline. Okay. So it's actually quite, you know, it's, it's quite sturdy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Quisses. Yeah. I love it. Um, what I'm particularly proud about. Yes. Okay, I changed the, the, the floor to this black and white thing. You keep seeing it in the movies. And there's this, this has really picked up really well. The plant. The plant, you know, the, the creeper. Yes. I actually grew it from scratch. I love it. Yeah. So cool. Put the stuff in there and it's just, it just seems to be taking over the whole, all, put all new plants in here. Yeah, I, I love mm. the look and feel feel of your outdoor living you can actually die here stay here and you t clearly have just done so well in your home we are so proud of you as Kenyans on behalf of all the bachelors um, pleasure meeting you let's um, toast to the new year it's um, been amazing talking to you today um, and um, best wishes for for the new year yes um, and I, I, I love to watch the out of living by the way there you have it beautiful people Michael exudes an air of sophistication, timelessness, and luxury, and a dose of art. That's what Art of Living is all about. I enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. We got inspired. Now we know how to invest in finer things in life and how to make money. Like he is just all about luxury, how to take care of himself. Please do that this year keep aspiring to live the life of your dreams or keep living the life of your dream and don't give up thank you for watching god bless you